So here we go, let the tiny house build begin. Today's the first day that we get to begin construction. The foundation is going in today. Well, at least we're starting on the foundation today. So we just measured out, got everything square, and spray painted the boundaries, trying to figure out exactly how we want the cabin to be laid out. The location of our cabin is in the middle of the woods. We cannot get trucks down here. Basically all we can get is ATVs, and tractors, stuff like that. Way up there on top of this hill is where we are having to kind of unload everything, leave the trucks up there, all that kind of stuff. A four wheel drive truck can make it down a little bit further, but today everything is kind of wet and muddy because we've had a lot of rain lately. And so we've been leaving the heavy type stuff up there and just been bringing everything down on tractors. Today what we've started to do is find out the layout for the cabin. The cabin is gonna be 20 feet wide by 24 feet long with a little eight by eight add-on. Came out and measured everything, put stakes in the ground, uh, make sure everything was square, and then went through and spray painted. And now Jerry, my builder, he's got his little trencher, but it's got a little backhoe on it, and we're starting to dig out where we're gonna pour the footings. Now that's gonna be a difficult job for us today is, is the footings, because you can't get concrete trucks down here. So my dad had to bring in the gravel on the front loader of his tractor. Then what we had to do is bring wheelbarrows down here. I had to go rent a concrete mixer and we brought basically everything up to this point and then we're going to mix it and we're going to pour it down in the trenches for the footings as he starts digging. So it's going to be a job because we had to leave the gravel, I don't know if you can see it over there in the woods. We had to leave the gravel over there. So we got to get the wheelbarrows, go get the gravel, and then bring the gravel across the creek where the spring's at, and then bring it up here. Obviously, it's a pain trying to get in this wheelbarrow up here. We're trying to right. think of a hmm, different way of doing it. Right. We'll see if this works. Get a pole and I'll hold it up. Yeah, turn it around. Yeah. yeah. I'll help you push it up. We're not here as long as we look. Sorry, guys, but somebody's got to hold the camera. <laughs> yeah, but we don't want on YouTube. Yeah, you do. No, we don't. Why didn't you think of that? Jerry's done it before, ain't you, Jerry? <laughs> well, how many guys? What are we going to tie to here? He ain't got no rack strap. I mean, we're not going to cut this thing right here if we're going to use it. And that way we can try to hook it real quick. Right here. Oh, my. Yeah, that was a good one. 
Well, obviously this is day number one. And on day one, you kind of find out what works, what don't work, what you need, what you don't need, what you wish you would have had. So that's kind of where we're at right now is just trying to figure this out. We're, we're gonna have to do something different. Of course, we're not gonna have a lot of cement pouring to do, but we're gonna have to figure something different out because it's a booger. It's a booger pushing that little bar up by hand. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Can you find one? Uh, yeah, I that, That's a good one. Oh, good job, man. Squeeze them together. Good job, buddy. Everybody's doing their share. Everybody's working. We want the kids to be involved in this. We want it to be a whole family project. The only one I'm not sure who's going to be doing something is Gabriel. We don't know what he's going to do yet. What do you want to do, buddy? Just stand there and look cute. Chase is trying to teach you how to do it. Good job, boys. You did it. Well, it's day two of construction. We are finishing up pouring the footings today. We have an eight by eight room that we are putting on to the main part of the house. And that's gonna be like our mechanics room where I house the batteries, put our instant hot water heater, just have supplies and stuff like that. Today, it's just me and my dad and Jerry, our construction guy, and uh, going and getting the gravel and bringing it across the creek. We do have a little bit of a better solution now. Now we have the four wheeler and a trailer, but the problem is it's it's been rainy, it's been muddy once we cross the creek it doesn't want to pull the hill so we've been having to use Jerry's trencher back there to finish pulling me up the hill so it's not perfect but this is this is all we've got So this is where we have to keep the gravel because of the creek, it's muddy, we can't get any really big equipment over there. So we keep it on this side, come over here with the four wheeler and trailer, and then we take it across the creek to the cabin. Yeah, hopefully I can make it across. Back up, here we go. Do what? Who, who didn't get cookies? Jerry? I don't, I don't think Papa got cookies. Papa didn't get cookies, so those are for Papa. Okay, smile with a happy heart. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, Gabriel. Say hi, Dad. Huh? Cookies for Papa. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> it's looking good. Yeah. 
I just probably need to cover it up before praying. So we got done pouring the footings and now we gotta lay some block. But we're gonna wait till next week to do that. What, am I doing all the work? Yeah, you're doing a good oh, job. Oh, it though. ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I think I'll just watch. Yeah, you're cute. This so, is cool. What's cool? Well, it's just cool that our house is so in the middle of nowhere that we have to like hand take the blocks down there like this. I just think it's, I like that. So yeah, you gotta put it in neutral. There you go, the button. Pick up one. I know how to drive well, a bag of four-wheeler. You just don't know how to start them. Sure. Just go slow. Hang on. I'll sit on here. Okay.